We are the wine ladies. Okay, so great. So we, we brought actually um, some Pinot Noir for George. Beautiful. Yeah, because we, we heard that he was a lover of red wine, so. Oh, very nice. So, um, and even Pinot Noir, we learned. That's Have red. you um, approached him with your? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes. He was he was a little floored when he saw our did, glasses. Did, did, did. Now, we want to know that ping pong game in that movie. Did you win that game? It's funny how everyone asks that. <laughs> You, really? you have no idea. <laughs> well, hold on. You know, you guys know uh, Showdown Joe. Yes. From uh, Sportsnet. Yeah. <laughs> was he, was you he can, the one filming that You can game? ask him about the ping pong skills. Okay, okay bring, tell let's us bring about this guy in. Um, <laughs> Stephen Wong absolutely destroyed me in ping pong. I thought it was good. This guy's got some curves, some hooks, some just. Ridiculous backhands, but uh, Steven's uh, ping pong skills are out of this world. But the hair was flying yes. like crazy. That yeah. was quite something. I need something. some of that wine. <laughs> that was hey, a right. Listen, again, we got glasses wine. for everybody. Oh, okay. a, a wonderful yeah. Pinot Noir from Taz Vineyards from Vineland in Ontario. Okay. Okay. All right. And for a, Cana a fantastic Canadian film. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Appreciate that was great. It must have been an incredible amount of work to do that. And you've got excruciating. Excruciating. You know, if you look at the places that George trains in, um, you know, obviously Montreal, but then uh, New Mexico, Denver, New York, Brazil, uh, Abu Dhabi, Asia, and that can all happen in a month. You racked up your wow. airline points oh, yeah. big time. So <laughs> that, that's one typical month, but then wow. there's also another star, David Luazo. Yes. So I get back and then I have to follow David now. Right. And then when I'm done with David, I'm back with George. So it was, it was tough. over a long period of time. Now, there's too. a lot of films recently that have been made, been very popular about fighting with, uh, of course, Rocky in the 70s, of and the, the Wrestler in 2008, right. and now The Fighter, yep. seven uh, uh, Oscar nominations. For an Oscar in uh, next year? I don't know. I guess we'll just have for to wait and see. For Best Documentary? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and it see. Would, so. It would get our vote for sure. Sure. Awesome, thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> it. Maybe we should get you on the board. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll tell me, did you learn anything about yourself going through this process? It's four I years, yep. and, and these gentlemen have become your best friends. Yeah. You know, I, I learned a lesson um, in life. I learned a lot. It's funny because I'm older than these guys, but I learned a lot from these guys. Yeah. And you see a person like George St. Pierre who makes, you know, many millions of dollars per fight. But you see the way he approaches life, and you see he drives, yeah, he drives a drives nice sport utility. Mm -hmm. He drives one vehicle. Right. He could have six Lambos, you know. But he drives one sport utility. He's very happy with it. Has a nice house, but not crazy. Yeah. He's got a nice condo, and uh, you know, I really learned that uh, there's a lot more to life than than you know the glitz and the glamour and the fame and the fortune mm -hmm. you know you see how humble he is and you see the way he approaches life and that's why he's so successful yes. so um, he hasn't that, forgotten his roots yeah. he hasn't forgotten his roots and he, he won't straight he's very strong very strong mentally yeah, so I, I, we got I mean. that in the movie too, in the film, that the strength that he has yeah. up here yeah. is probably, I don't know what percentage, but it's got to be like upwards of 50% anyways of his yeah. success. Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're a karate black belt yourself, aren't you? Taekwondo. taekwondo. Oh, Taekwondo. Yeah. George is karate. Okay. Yeah, David and I are both uh, Taekwondo. So what's the major difference between those two sports? Uh, much more kicks in Taekwondo. Very, very good kicks. Very, uh, probably the best kicks in martial arts. Um, and, and that's the biggest difference. Is that why you took on the project? Because I know David Loiseau was saying he had approached a number of people yeah. and he wasn't able to get on any takers, but you had a love for that type of sport already. Yeah, you know was what? that part of it? That, that was part of it, but also, um, you know, my favorite fighter was David Loiseau back then. Okay. You know, I, was, I was big into, you know, a big fan of UFC. Right. And my second favorite fighter was George St. Pierre. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, but it wasn't just that, it was more what they brought um, as far as human beings. And yes. that's what really appealed to me. It's not their physical attributes, mm -hmm. um, it was more, you know, I, I felt if I could bring their personalities and their humbleness and, and everything that goes along with being George St. Pierre, David Wong, if we could bring that to the forefront, I'd have, you know, a winner. So that was my, that was my goal. And how did David Loiseau find you? Um, it's funny, just, you know, I, I'm, fitness and martial arts is a part of my, my life and we kind of ran into each, uh, each other at a trade show or a fitness show, fitness slash martial arts show. Well, congratulations on an awesome film. Thank you. Striking truth. Thank you very much.